the flower and this beautiful light creature both seemed to be bowing to me and my friends, saying, Thank you for listening to our tune of joy. And now they are playing the tune and the message that man must come into the same attunement with all aspects of nature because everything around is alive with many levels of consciousness, many levels of life. And now we have all bowed to this beautiful presence and the consciousness of the flower. We have thanked them for sharing with us. Ram, are you moving on? Yes, as we move one own, I can hear giggles around us as though many creatures are around us. We are walking down a pathway. Ram, where is the pathway taking you? It is taking us into a beautiful forest. There is a feeling of floating because it is so alive with life and the presence of love energy. There are such beautiful colors. We are walking through a mossy area. I can hear the giggles again. As I look ahead of me, I see moss-covered rock, and there are some other creatures. Ram, do they see you? They are aware of our presence. They look different from the fairies. They are a little bigger and have a little more form. There is a large group of them, and they are very happy. Let's see what they are working on. Ram, do that and let me know. They appear to be little gnomes. They are part of the consciousness of the wood and the trees. I am told that within every aspect of life, every element has its consciousness. But there are also other consciousness levels that work with the elements. They work in communion with each other. These creatures are called woodchucks. There is a tree that has fallen down and it has some moss growing on it. Part of the tree is hollow. The woodchucks are dancing around on this log and are playing an interesting tune. Some of them are using the log as a drum, and they are speaking in their own language to describe to us what their purpose is. Ram, what is their purpose? They are a part of the elemental kingdom and work with the elements of the earth. Every element has its own consciousness. This is the soul level of the elements. They are playing a beautiful tune, different from the one the fairies were playing. Their tune has a deeper tone and is on a lower scale. I can hear the drums as they thump on the trees. From the hollow part of the tree, I can hear the music. This log has fallen, but it really isn't dead. It has a very special kind of vibration. Moss is growing all over it, so even though it seems to be disconnected from its base, it's still very much alive. The woodchucks live inside. They spend time in all the different trees in the forest. This is one of the places in the forest where they like to come to make their very special music. Some of them are dancing and humming along, making beautiful little sounds and melodious tunes. Ram, what is their message? The message that they are sharing is very similar to that of the fairies. It is a message of cooperation. They help the trees and all the wood aspects of nature grow in their fulfillment. Sometimes when a tree gets injured, they help it to heal. The injuries heal more rapidly with the woodchuck's helpful healing energies. They are joyous in their responsibilities and are happy to have this job. They have a great sense of fulfillment about what they are doing. Their message is that we all have jobs on the earth and if we are in tune with what we are doing, are, are supposed to be doing, we will feel a complete sense of fulfillment and purpose in living. There is a special purpose in nature for every being, and that purpose is to live in the fullness of your own creativity. As you are released into this fulfillment, you will know nothing but great joy and love. If every being does what it should be doing, working and sharing for the growth and good of all, it will live in the highest of its energy levels. If human beings get too caught up in their own selves and their own selfish fulfillment, they lose the sense of joy and accomplishment that comes with being in tune and in touch with all aspects of nature. Ram, we certainly need to hear this message to remind us to slow down and enjoy the life. 
I am told by my friends that the reason I am being shown the earth aura from a distance is that the earth energies can become blocked just as our own personal energies can. The little woodchucks are a demonstration of beings that are living in the highest levels of their fulfillment. There is such happiness and joy coming from them. Ram, what do the woodchucks look like? These little beings are of a more dense color, like the dense colors of the forest. There are beautiful shades of brown, orange, and green. They blend right in with nature. They are dancing and giggling because they are so happy in what they are doing. Now they are sitting down on the log and are clapping in unison. We are bowing to them and clapping for them and thanking them. We are reaching out to touch them and they are reaching out to touch us. It is such a great experience with so much joy radiating in the atmosphere. Now we are waving goodbye. Ram, where do you go next? We are going to walk a little further. We are coming into a clearing where the sunlight is coming down and hitting a whole group of flowers. There are purple and violet flowers along with some other wildflowers that have beautiful red petals. You can see the sunbeams as they drop through the darker areas of the forest onto these flowers. It is as if the sunbeams are themselves a consciousness. Descending from the sunbeams and onto the flowers is another type of little being. Ram, what are they called? They are sunbeams, and there is laughter among them. There is a harp type of music coming from them. The little woodchucks played the more bass level of the forest orchestra. The sunbeams are in the higher octaves. These little sunbeams are coming in on the light beams and are sliding right down onto the flowers. The music changes its pitch when they slide down the sunbeams. The flowers do so appreciate these sunbeams because they give them energy and sustenance. They are a part of the consciousness of the sun and are bringing light into the forest. They bring light and energy to all the elements. They come in at all parts of the forest. And this beautiful harp-like music that plays as they come in helps to bring the special energy. Ram, what kind of energy is it? It is a strong love energy. I am getting a message from them as I watch them work and play. They are sliding down the beams, and when they get to the flowers, they merge into them and into the leaves of the trees and into the grass. And they, as they do, they blend in and disappear for a while, and then some more come in. They are all different colors, like the colors of the rainbow. Their wings have rainbow colors. As their wings flutter, you can hear the music. They are dancing in joyful glee because they are doing what they should be doing. Ram, what are they doing? They are the nourishment of the forest, the sun elements. They are a part of the diva consciousness of the universe. They are the divas, the architects that help to create energy forms. They are helping to bring nourishment and energy, the food of the plant kingdom, and they are much appreciated. The flowers and plants seem to, to enjoy it each time that these sunbeams blend into them. As the sunbeams slide off a sunbeam onto a flower, all the flowers radiate and vibrate with great joy. Wonderful, harmonious sounds come from this blending. Ram, I can almost hear the music as you describe it. The message of the sunbeams is that everything in the universe is interrelated and each must help the rest. You can hear their harmonious music echo throughout the forest, just as harmonies of human beings that blend together in purpose and achievement can echo throughout the world. Every element is playing its, its melody in the harmonious orchestra of life, just as every soul has its own special tune to play in the universal orchestra. Everything is special. Nothing is wasted. Everything and everyone has purpose and meaning in the universe. Now we are bowing to these wonderful creatures and thanking them for their message of love and communion. Ram, where are the helpers taking you now?